Hi. So today we're looking at the GoPro Fusion. Here we go. So yesterday I did a video of the Nikon Key mission and it went pretty well if I'm honest with you. I'm at a bit of a love-hate situation with the Key Mission. Uh, I think it's a very good camera. Uh, I like its price point. Its price point is really, really good. And I think the sound of the audio is exceptionally good. But I do feel sometimes the actual picture quality is poor. It kind of delivers or doesn't deliver. So I thought today I'd whip out the GoPro Fusion. Now the Fusion's meant to be the best high-end 360 video capture camera. Now I personally think 360 video is dead, but I do feel this kind of scenario, we call it over capture on the GoPro, we call it free capture on other devices. It's called all different kind of things. But I do think this is the future of the 360 camera because basically you can do the set and take the pictures and you haven't got to worry at all about if my camera is in the right place or if I'm in the right place or anything really you just set the camera up and it's going to record everything and then hopefully it will be fantastic so we'll make it quick today and just so you know this is the first time I've ever used this camera it's literally just landed I'm going to try and edit this so if the quality is poor I don't know, we'll find out. So far, I've liked it more than the key mission because it does connect to my phone like that. The key mission is a horrendous, I was going to swear then, a horrendous app to use. It just doesn't work. So yesterday's video, when we did all the walk around here, it was really hard to do. Basically, I took it from the key mission to the key mission software to then some Insta360 software to then using a, a normal kind of movie editing software. It's just been horrendous. So we're going to try and edit this one just on my phone. And I may even do two videos, one on the phone and one on the PC to give you a better idea of how different they are. So what is the downside of the key mission? Well, sometimes the picture quality is poor, very poor. And I would be looking now if where I'm stood, when I watch back on this video, my door here, this was all blurry. This was kind of all blurry. I was pretty good, though a bit crunchy. I still may be crunchy now, because obviously I've not looked back at this bit footage. But I was crunchy, and that was all blurry. Now, the big one, cut lines. Cut lines and sinkers. I did that. I don't know who moved these chairs, because I moved these chairs yesterday. So, ta-da! This cut line, you would not see me at all on the, what's it called? Nikon key machine. Not at all. And if I was here, there'd be no chance whatsoever. In fact, the cut lines are pretty atrocious. And also, what I also notice on the key missions is if we go up. Now, you probably can get this here. That might, because that's really, really close. That's cool. So, let's go up. These power cables, who are actually telephone cables, were cut as well. And it's not too bad if most we I can actually live with that, because you have to experience, it might be rubbish. I had an LG 360 camera, which you've probably seen in my previous videos. No cut lines, no cut lines. You could get in that camera and there'd be no cut lines. It was that good. It was absolutely fantastic. And I mean that, no cut lines. It was stellar. So, this is the camera on this side, and this is the camera on this side. Please move these chairs. Ah, maybe it was me. So, on the key mission, you tend to find that this side and this side were different pictures and it's got better over the years was we or well, I've, I've had it for months but I've seen progression the software's adapted and changed so it's not too bad actually nowadays it's pretty good the audio is stellar 
I like using a microphone. You don't even need a microphone with this. So I'm interested to see what this sounds like, what this looks like, and is it really that much better? Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show, and we'll see you soon. Bye.